as developments are, are planned and approved, they have certain access points to uh, roadways within the city. And with those access points, there's gonna be limited points where what we call full access can be made. And those are gone through the, again, through the plan review and development process. And then we have the, uh, also through just general expansion of traffic as the city has grown, what we refer to as our arterial arterial intersections. As we get further away from the city where nothing has developed, but as where traffic is increasing, those areas we look at the traffic volume and then it, uh, we compare it against uh, the what we call volume thresholds, which are referred to as traffic signal warrants. And that's what determines when a traffic signal is therefore warranted. Then it comes down to uh, first getting the funding approved, which goes through council. And then we have to get it designed, which that can take up to a year. And then construction, which can take close to a year as well. 